you want to verify, one, that you're speaking with the right person, because the last thing you want to do is give out someone else's information to the wrong person. Uh, you want to smoothly transition, try to build rapport. The, the point of the first call is not to settle and get a payment. <coughs> You're not, you're not wheeling a deal. It's not, oh, $500, let's do it, mail a check. You want to build a relationship with this person because you may be dealing with them for the next 30 years. You want to build a friendship. So you want to transition, ask those three questions. What happened? Where are you now? And what would you like to do with the property? They may say, I want to sell it. That's fine. You can figure out how to make it work by selling it. You can get a realtor out there. You can, you can have them leave the property, help them move somewhere else and start renting it. They want to work it out and stay. You want to start building on. Okay, this is what we. This is what your situation is. We built your hardship. Let's make a second call. Let's make a second time to call. What are your best available days? And what's the best time to call you? All right, let's call. I don't know. Tuesday, at twelve o'clock. How's that sound? That's pretty much how the first call would go. Yeah, we we like to.